Everyone, here are the final results of our barbecue seafood boil. I'm so excited that everyone has been so kind with all of your wonderful comments, your likes, and your subscriptions. Please help the popcorn kit to grow. Our next goal will be 5,000. And because of you, we have reached monetization and I just hope we can continue to grow together. Here's to you. Thank you for all of the new subscribers and thank you to all of my old friends. You are the greatest. Please try this out. And if there's any way I can help you, I'll be there for you. I want you to try the DMV seafood dipping sauce. All right, my friends, love you. You're the greatest, peace and love. Hello everyone. Today we are going to have a seafood boil. I wanted to go over and show you what we're going to have in our seafood boil. Here we have lobster claws. Really beautiful. We have our snow crab legs. We have our smoked sausage, lemon, potatoes. We have beautiful shrimp, corn, and we have a whole lot of seasoning to put into our crab boil. I'm sorry, our seafood boil. Now, I really like the taste of beer. So I'm gonna be combining beer along with chicken stock. And I love the season of hickory smoke in a seafood boil. So I'm gonna start cutting all these fresh corn on the cob, and I'm gonna cut up our sausage. I'm gonna start just putting everything together. So I just wanted to introduce the ingredients first, and then we will move on. All right, I want you to take a look our water is boiling, which is great. Our kielbasa is getting nice and brown. Look at that. Wonderful. I just added a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to toss that so that can be nice and brown. Right here. We're getting ready to start loading our pot. And this is just regular water for now. I'm going to add all the good ingredients. We have our little potatoes. We have our lemon. And I cut up our fresh corn. I'm going to put all of this into the pot. All of our vegetables first. And then... I'm going to add our crawfish, shrimp, and crab oil, which is a cute packet. Put that right in. Now here we go, because there are so many flavors going into this. Hickory smoke. Brings out a lot of flavor. I like to put our W sauce. Beer. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with this sauce after everything cooks. I'm going to reserve a lot of this for our seafood. Now 
There we go. I'm going to put a stick of butter. Lemon pepper. Paprika. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Basil, oregano, even though I put lemons in there, I'm going to squeeze some extra lemon juice, mm -hmm. lemon juice, Old Bay, And this old bay has lemon flavor in it. I guess you can tell. I really like lemon. And then I'm gonna put a squeeze of ginger. Just a little bit. Now this is going to come to a boil. Oh, oh my God. This smells so good already. Look at that packet. Look at this. It's hot, so I don't want to look at that. So much flavor already. So let's let this boil till the potatoes are tender. I'm going to let it go for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to check on our sausage. And slowly, we're going to add all of our seafood. Oh, this looks wonderful. Look at everything. It's beautiful. Okay, we'll come back and check on this. And we're going to start adding everything to our great big pot. Okay, I'm going to check on the sausage. And by the way, this is beef now, some of you might think it's burnt, but I kind of like it brown. It gives it a lot of flavor. And then after this becomes beautiful and brown, we're going to reserve some of this oil on the bottom because that's a whole lot of good flavor. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, let's let this cook for about 30 minutes, and we'll be right back. I'm ready to take our sausage out. I'm going to put these to the side. I'm not ready to add them to our pot yet. Let me show you what I'm going to do with this. this. This is really good flavor right here. All of this. Really good flavor. So I'm going to take some of our beer that I have left over. Add this in here. I want, look at that. See how all of that seasoning is coming up? Mmm. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. I'm gonna get some more of this hickory smoke. Put a little of that in there. Season right there. Good season. So I'm gonna keep stirring this until all of those little bits come off the bottom like they're doing right now. Then I'm gonna put them smells so good you guys I'm gonna put that into our, our pot here we go pour that right in that's 
flavor. It's good flavor. All right, that's where we are right now. And we'll move on to the next step. You all, I forgot to tell you to put a spoonful of garlic. It's okay to get the fresh kind, but this is what we had. And this is my uh, brown sugar. I forgot to tell you, put, I'm going to put two. This is light, light brown sugar. I keep it in a jar just so it can stay nice and moist. Okay, here we go. It's not done yet. I forgot to include that and I had to go back and get it. But everything is looking as it should. It's beautiful. Look at that, you all. Look at the corn. The potatoes. And you can smell the lemon. Everything's coming together beautifully. I want you all to come over and try some. It smells so good. All right, we'll be back. Now, while we're waiting for our pot to finish, I'm going to show you how we make this DMV seafood sauce. It's at every carryout, and we have always had this. Now, the base of this is mayonnaise. Now, depending on how much you want, of course, depends on how much you're going to put. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at that. I am not going to waste this. I'm sorry, guys, but... I'm not going to waste any of this. Let me wipe my hands off, though. Now, this is the kind of sauce that you put in what you want the most. But you have to have mayonnaise. Okay, so we have our mayonnaise, ketchup. hot sauce. There's no true measurement to this. You put in what you want. You leave out what you want. Uh, lemon juice. Lemon pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Put some old bay in there now be careful how much you put because it's really salty and again i like the lemon flavor a little bit and some little sugar okay so we're going to mix this up and it's so delicious i really want you all to try this this has been and the DMV for years. The DMV is the District, Maryland, Virginia. That's why we call it the DMV. So this is the DMV seafood sauce. And it's really, 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 really good. And then you put this in the refrigerator you let it get nice and cold, and then you bring it out. You know what? Sometimes people add a vinegar to it, depending on how it tastes, which is, I'm getting ready to taste this now. But it's tangy, sweet. It's just perfect for dipping your seafood in. It's delicious. Okay, let me see how this tastes. I think that's perfect. Mm, doesn't need anything else. So I'm going to put this into the refrigerator so it can chill. And that's the DMV seafood sauce. There you go. Now this is why I call it a smoky, 
seafood boil because I'm going to add a little bit of liquid smoke and I'm also going to add surprise some barbecue sauce I know it just adds it just adds a little extra flavor I know you guys use your favorite favorite barbecue sauce just a little bit okay we'll be back now there's so much season Look at all these seasons in here. You can see the seasons up here. You all, this smells delicious. Now I added some onions just to give it a little more flavor. Now we are at the final steps here. Now I purchased some lobster claws. We're gonna add those in here. Now these have already and cooked they were steamed look at these they were steamed earlier and this is optional I just thought it would be fun to put these in here thank you for watching this y'all I appreciate you all so much I'm gonna fold these in here these have been prepared already as well just going to lay these in here just like this these are gorgeous it just saves a lot of time to have them fix these for you in the store gorgeous okay we have more that's all I'm gonna put in there because now I'm gonna add our shrimp and because shrimp really doesn't need a whole lot of time to cook we can actually just put this down in the broth like lift it up a little bit and let them get in the little nooks I went through each one of these and made sure that they were clean because sometimes there's like hidden little things and things in there. All right, that's all nice and snug. And then the final step also, I like to put the sausage in there because I don't want them to lose their flavor. And here we have our seafood boil. I'm going to plate this up. I'm going to let this sit for a while. And then we will be right back. Everyone, here are the final results of our barbecue seafood boil. I'm so excited that everyone has been so kind with all of your wonderful comments, your likes, and your subscriptions. Please help the popcorn kit to grow. Our next goal will be 5,000. And because of you, we have reached monetization, and I just hope we can continue to grow together. Here's to you. Thank you for all of the new subscribers and thank you to all of my old friends. You are the greatest. Please try this out. And if there's any way I can help you, I'll be there for you. I want you to try the DMV seafood dipping sauce. All right, my friends, love you. You're the greatest. Peace and love.